Hi everyone, Mr. Mott here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a Zoom meeting that you've already created and share it with your students in Google Classroom. Now, if you need to know how to create a Zoom meeting, please see my other video on how to create a Zoom meeting. And in a separate video, I will do how to actually run a class meeting using Zoom. This one, we're going to just focus on how do we get it to Google Classroom. Now, there's three ways that you can do this. Uh, I'm going to show you all three in this video. Now, first, I got to get to the meeting I already scheduled. So when you go to Zoom and you log in, um, you should see this window here. But you're going to click on Meetings. And then you will see the meeting that you created. So I'm going to click on that meeting. I'm not going to start the meeting. This is, I want to get it to the kids. How on earth do I do that? So there are three ways. The first way is you can use Google Calendar. The second and third way is to create assignments or an announcement and use this link down here. OK, so first I'm going to show you the calendar way, which is probably going to be the easiest for you. So what it does is it just puts it on the Google Calendar of your class. So you click on Google Calendar. And right now we're in Google Calendar. We just want to make sure that it is on your class. Like for me, I use Google Calendar. I have several Google Calendars, and I don't want this on every single one. I just want this on one class. So I'm going to click on the calendar feature here. And default is your name, but I don't want it on all these classes. So I want it in the class that I'm using it for, which is the demo class. That just makes sure that this Zoom link only shows up to the students that are in my demo class. And that's really every, that's all you need to do here. You just click save. Now, down here, if you go down a little further in the details, the meeting ID will be there. If a student needs that, if they need the password, it'll be there. If they're having trouble on their computer and they want to phone in, all that information is right here in the details. Now, if you're worried uh, about other students getting the link, if your meeting is set to default, to everyone's dumped into the waiting room, you don't have to worry about this link issue because you as a teacher will only allow students in that you recognize, correct? So it's okay that this information is here. If you're really worried about it, then you can clear out this password and all this extra information if you wanna be more secure. Although, but really, you just leave it like this and then you can click save. And what's gonna happen is it'll put it on your classroom calendar. So here it is right here that on the student side, they would see the scheduled meeting, they could click on the meeting, and then click on the link, and then it would take them to your meeting. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Now, the other two ways is taking this link, copy pasting it, the link directly to the meeting, and pasting it into Google Classroom. So I just copied this link, now I'm going to go over to my Google Classroom and I will do it the announcement way first. So what I can do here is I can click right here, share something with your class, and I can say, uh, come join us for a read aloud day at 10 a.m. Click on this Zoom link, join. And then you can post it to the students in this class. You can. So in this class, I only have one because it's a demo class. If you were doing something like, oh, I'm only going to work with five kids, then you could select those five kids out of your class and then only they will see it. Or if you were doing like a small guided reading group, you could select those kids. Or if you were doing different groups for some reason, you can select out the different students, which is a cool feature there. And then you can post it. It'll show up on their stream that they can click the link and join the meeting. Now, the other way that you can do share the Zoom with your students is through the classwork. If you click on the classwork and you create 
an activity, any one of these activities, an assignment, a cami assignment, a quiz assignment, a question, material, any of these, you can paste the link in and the kids will be able to get to the meeting. I'm just going to use the assignment, so I'll just say read aloud am today. In directions if I want. And I could, if I wanted to, I could post the link, I could paste the link there, or I could do it here as a link, which usually I would recommend you do it down here as a link, not up here, because here in the directions, you're going to tell the students what to do. The link below, it allowed, or today's meeting lesson, or today's morning meeting, whatever you're deciding. And then you can check to select if you want different students or not. Um, I, this is an ungraded activity. There's no due date. And I can decide, oh, let me go ahead and put this as a read aloud. Uh, or read, oh, and this one, I don't, I'm going to do reading on this one. And then assign it to the students. So then on their side, they would go into classwork. And under the reading, it would show up. Go down to reading, read aloud at 10 a.m. today, and then the link that they click on, they click on the link and it takes them right to the Zoom meeting. Okay, so those are the three ways that you could share the, your Zoom meeting through Google Classroom using the Google Calendar or creating an assignment or creating an announcement. Okay, now in the, another video, I'm going to show you how to actually run the Zoom meeting with a live group of students. So go ahead and find that next video on my tutorials. Hope you found this one really helpful and good luck.